Hi, I'm Andy and welcome to our Training Tuesday here at the Warrington Training Centre. Today I'm going to give you a quick hint and tip on the best way to connect the combustion control unit to the gas supply on our heat only range. First things first, remove the two lower securing screws to allow the bottom section to pivot down. Now we're inside the unit and what looks quite a complicated piece of equipment can be stripped down in minutes. First of all, we're going to start with the silencer. Pull it towards you and take it out the fan to the left. We can see now the internal flue duct and we're going to take that, clip that off, pull it towards yourself and lift it out. At this stage now, after proving that we've no voltage to the unit, we're going to disconnect the electrics. Disconnect first cable, the communications cable. Squeeze and pull that down. Press the tab on top of the circuit board housing so it allows it to lower. Next connection cable we're going to remove is the switch live neutral and earth. And secondary then we're going to remove the sensors cable. So this is our flow and return sensors and also our overheat connections. Remove the earth connection from the electrode to the board. And now the electrode lead. You can now clip the housing back on and disconnect the communications cable. Isolate the gas supply underneath the boiler and then disconnect the gas union. Hold it against yourself. The unit's very rigid now, we need to undo the spring toggles, one on the left hand side, pull that forward, one on the right hand side, pull that forward, and now we can use the toggles as a lifting aid. Lift it up slightly and swing towards yourself. And the full combustion control unit comes out as one. The gas valve, the fan, and the circuit board as one unit. Put to one side. To remove the burner, to inspect it, simply pull it out of its recess, lift it up and out of the heat exchanger. Inspect, put to one side. Putting the burner in after our seal's been inspected, drop it back into position and just check that everything is nicely lying flat. It's now time to put the combustion control unit in, and this is where our tip of the day comes. Use the toggles to help out the systems. And sit firmly on the heat exchanger. At this stage, a lot of engineers will want to spring down the toggles, leave them firmly just in their positions, and attend to the gas supply and pop the union on maybe two or three threads while we've still got all this flexibility. Now what we can do is put the spring toggles back down. Fully tighten the gas union. And spray test with leak detection spray. It's a good hint and tip to cover the parameter storage unit and spray the unit. Quick check to make sure there's no bubbles and we're happy then to go ahead and reconnect the electrics. Pop the PCB housing down, switch live neutral and earth connection, our sensors connection, Electrode lead, earth tab, 
and then we're ready for the communications cable. A firm click. Popping back in the flue turret. And finally, the silencer. Take it in from the left hand side and find the fan. And then finally secure on the P1 connection of the gas valve. The front panel hooks on. It clicks into position. Check that the side cheeks haven't tucked in. Yep. Tighten up the securing screws. Pivot up the panel. And finally, pop the lower screws back in. Thanks for watching today's Trading Tuesday tip.